When you think about being productive, you think about working on projects with other people, you think about communicating with other people, you might think of tools such as Microsoft 365, which allow us to have Microsoft Teams, we can have calendars, shared calendars, we can have contacts that we share with each other, and that's a great way to share data. But the number one way that we actually communicate with each other is voice. It has been for a very long time. It's no coincidence that this is called an iPhone. And it's also no coincidence that on my shelf behind me, I have an a old phone handset as well as a data modem. Because the phone network and communicating with voice has long been the way that we actually get work done and communicate with others. Now, voice has found its way onto data networks and that's how voice is transmitted. We use cellular networks, we use voice over IP. And Microsoft 365 has provided a great way to communicate with data objects. But if there was a way to bring those two worlds together so that I could integrate my voice solution with my data solution with Microsoft 365, that would increase productivity even more. Well, you probably guessed that's what this video is about. 3CX is a solution that I've used for my small business where you can use it for free for up to 10 users. But a really powerful feature of 3CX is if I go to the Pro or the Enterprise Edition, I can actually integrate it with my Microsoft 365 Active Directory. Getting things like single sign-on, shared contacts, shared calendars, really adding voice to all of the different types of communication that I do within the 365 suite. It's extremely powerful, extremely useful. Let's go take a look at how easy it is to set up and why you might want to consider it as your voice solution for your organization. In a previous video, I demonstrated how we could have up to 10 users and 10 phone lines with 3CX for free. If we want to integrate with Microsoft 365, then instead of getting the free version, we do want to get the Pro Enterprise version, which allows us to have more users and integrate with Microsoft 365. So you'll go in, you'll hit the Try button, you'll enter in your details, and then you'll confirm your email address. After you do that, you'll go in and get two months free of 3CX, the Pro Enterprise version, that you can then use in order to integrate with Microsoft 365. So once we've choose in the Pro Enterprise. If I go into Next, you'll see that I've, I'm asked to put in a host name to remember that, as well as a domain. So I've just chosen the host name of Snap. I'll put it as Snap Tech, and then I'll go in and choose Canada as the domain. Then I'll go into Next, and then I can choose the number of digits I would like for my extensions. This is really going to depend on the size of your organization and what your anticipated growth is for the organization. So for example, a two-digit extension would be less than 100 people. Uh, if you go three digits, it's from 100 to 999, so about 900 or so folks. I'm gonna go ahead and use a three-digit extension, but you can choose appropriate to your organization. Then what's going to happen is I'll go in, it'll create the 3CX account for me, and then I'll start configuring it in order to work with Microsoft 365. Once you've created your account, you'll be given a username and a password that'll allow you to log into your administration console. Now underneath the admin console, this is where you're going to find a lot of information about the different calls that are being placed with your organization. There's a lot here. You can set up users and phones and such. But what we want to do is we want to integrate this with Microsoft 365. So if I go into settings, and I go into Microsoft 365 underneath integrations, that's going to start the process of allowing me to connect it to my Active Directory, which is running in Microsoft 365, and then I'm going to be able to use all of my users, single sign-on, I'm going to be able to bring in all of my contacts, I'm gonna be able to integrate with Microsoft Teams by following this integration wizard. Now you can see you can do a lot of other things in the admin console. You can do things like music on hold and system prompts and set up conferencing and call parking so you can really have a robust system that's going to have your all your voice needs met so you'll see there's a, there's a lot I get excited about this because I used to work in hotels and I really wish I would have had this for hotels because you could 
do so much with this uh, this voice over IP system. So 3CX is pretty cool. So I'm going to go into Microsoft 365 and then I'm just going to go in and follow through on the wizard. So you can see here that I have the user sync so I can go in and choose all of the users in my organization and bring them into 3CX, bring them into this voice system. Uh, you can see that I can set up the sign in so I can have my, my admin sign in. I can have my user sign in in terms of their ability to just use one account to sign into the application running on their mobile device. They can sign into the application running on their desktop. So their voice solution can be with them no matter where they go without them having to remember a whole bunch of different accounts. I can set up the contact syncing. So this is going to allow me to have one version of all my contacts. And this is a very powerful tool for any organization to have the global contacts. So we have all of those available to us and then have, of course, personal contacts, which will be on an individual basis. But you can import those in and that's fantastic. It's a great way to bring your directory in. And one of the things that you'll know with any phone system is if somebody makes a change to their their availability or if they make a change to their phone number, whatever the case may be, their extension, then that needs to be propagated throughout the entire organization. And what I mean by that is, again, in the old days, if somebody made a change, you'd have to uh, send out a whole bunch of memos and saying, you know, this is where you're going to reach this person now. They're now in a different department. This is a beautiful thing. I can also have calendar synchronization. So now I can have all my meetings and voice in my meetings all synchronized with my calendar so that I can see them in one consolidated place. You're probably seeing a real theme here, the consolidation of everything into one system where my user accounts, my teams, my teams uh, participation, my Outlook calendars, whatever calendar I'm using, all of that can be integrated with voice and that's very powerful. You can also set up some uh, direct routing in here. This is a little bit more advanced, but this is with Teams direct routing. What you can do is you can set this up so that you have direct call in. So with, with trunks and such, you can see my other video on the free version of 3CX for smaller organizations. And I do a little bit of explanation there about what a trunk line in and what things like uh, direct routing and such is. So we go in and we set this up and now I'm going to be able to use this with my Microsoft 365 organization. This obviously works better if you have a large organization. I'm sort of a one man shop here, but if you have a large organization with dozens or hundreds or thousands of users, adding voice and integrating your 3CX solution, your voice solution into your Microsoft 365 solution is a great way to give everybody the ability to communicate across all of their devices, all of their platform, with voice, with whatever they're doing in order to be more productive. Voice plays an essential role in any type of business, no matter how big or small you are. And 3CX has a number of solutions that can suit your organization, depending on what your needs are and what the size of your organization is. They even have a completely free PBX system. And I have another video where I show you how to set that up. They sponsored this video to help out the channel and I really appreciate that and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Comment down below, like the video, all those YouTube-y things and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you again. Take care.